Hey guys, what's up? It's Lord of Awesomeness again, and today I have part two of how to make uh, my aquatic edition or the aquatic edition of my self mock blade. Uh, I think it's our, I already said it's the second part, but if I didn't, it's the second part. Um, you can see the first part uh, somewhere on my channel, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying, I can't think. Um, chain of thought, chain of thought, chain of thought. Oh yeah, alright, so uh, this video is part two, as I said, and it's going to be uh, how to build the uh, aquatic pack for uh, Blade. And part one was how to build the figure of Blade. And uh, yeah, so if you'd like to see how to build the figure, go check that out. And if you would like to see how to make the pack, um, keep watching this video. So. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the parts you're going to need for this, uh, the pack that uh, Blade uses when he's underwater. So, spinny, spinny, spinny. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly pan over the pieces that you will need for this thingy-majiggy. You might be able to tell by the shadow that I do use my iPod to record, so, yeah. So, those are all the pieces you're going to need. So, I think I'm actually going to uh, record like this, so that you can see all that. And I'm just going to put it like that. And now we, I can start to show you how to build um, the, the thingy. So, obviously you're going to start with this body that is not the wide shoulder, it's the smallest, smaller shoulder, but small, smaller, small, smaller shouldered body, or something like that. So you're going to want that, and um, you're, going, you're actually going to use it so it's like this, so the neck and head part are facing downwards. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to take your... Uh, foot from Stormer XL, take a newer style Bionicle hand, or not newer, but um, newest style of Bionicle hand, and just slide it onto the axle on the foot, and you're going to take this Technic 3 pin long bar thingy, and take two uh, pins, regular size pins, and just attach those to the end pin holes and attach the uh, to the foot right um, right uh, after the binocle hand and I'm going to take this and uh, before you attach it to the um, body you're going to take a friction adder and just snap that on there and then you're just going to attach that to the head part right there and that's the first part so the second part is really simple just adding this body piece from the breakout surge onto that and that will go this way so that you have that I'm just going to see if I can tilt the camera up a little bit so, so you should have that and then they're going to take the other uh, bionicle hands that you have and just attach those to the ends or the ball points of the body. So that you have that. So uh, we're going to do these, and then we're going to do the bottom ones first. You're going to take two red axles and just put them in the normal axle holes right there. And then take your uh, wing pieces or shield pieces, whatever you like to use them for, and attach those to what you have there and then fold it so it's like that and you want these uh, kind of saw looking uh, parts facing downward so it's like that and you're going to do that with both sides just touch that there and there and you are going to notice that one side is a bit different from the other because uh, one wing is um, actually backwards but it kind of needs it to be like that, so to have the uh, kind of symmetry thing going on. And uh, before I actually forget, um, 
you're going to turn it to the back and take this Technic piece, or sort of a Technic piece, and just attach it to the body like so. So you should have this so far. And then I'm actually going to take this and, sorry if I covered up the camera there, but put it like that so that you can see this better. And uh, you can't really see it better, but it kind of kind of better. If I back this up a little bit, there we go. All right, so now you should have that, as I said, with the piece on the back. And now what you're going to do is take two um, half axle half pins and stick them into these thingies right here. And then you're going to take both of these white pieces and attach the turbines to those. And then just attach the whole thing to those connector pieces so that you have that. And you're going to do that with both sides that you have something that looks like this. And then the uh, last thing, you well not really last thing, but you're going to take uh, two more half axle half pins, stick them right there, like so, so it looks like that. Actually, I think I'm doing this wrong. Am I doing this wrong? I don't, I actually don't know. I don't think I am. Hmm, this is weird. Ah, I see. Okay, I I was kind of confused for a second. Uh, eh. All right, so uh, just let me change this real quick. Um, why am I so confused? This is so weird. All right, there we go. So, um. You should have something that looks like that, so that the turbines are kind of facing outward, or backwards, or frontwards, or whatever. And you want those two half axle half pins right there on the top. And you're just going to attach this gray hose peeing piece thingy onto those pins, so that you have that. And the last step is to take these blue stops, these swords, and attach them to the bottom, like so that you have that. So, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it for how to build this. And when he's, uh, once you attach this to blade, when he's not using it, just fold the foot up, uh, fold these wings in so that they look like that, and then fold the turbines in so that it looks like that. So it looks like that all in all. And yeah, that's it for how to build this. Um, if you didn't see the first part, go watch that. Um, make sure you like this comment, or like like this comment. Like this video, leave a comment down below, and definitely subscribe, because that would be awesome. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.